Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ Spirity. I wanted to show you how to install a brushless system in your vehicle. Basically, we're going to remove the brush system that's in this vehicle and install a brushless system in it. Let's put these guys aside and let's attack this guy. We're going to grab our pliers. There's a couple of tie wraps here and there. We're going to remove off this vehicle. Now just verify on your vehicle where the uh, attachments are and just remove them. That way you don't have anything in your way. Now the vehicle I'm using right now as a demonstrator for you guys is a Sprint 2 brush version. That we're going to convert to brushless. We're going to open the receiver box, be able to remove the wires that is for this speed control right here. Now on your vehicle could be a little bit different here compared to this one. Now, remove this guy right here. This is a, a little bit of a pain. There we go. Should be able to pull on it now. I'm just going to remove the, the boot. That we will need to move aside again to install the new speed control. That is the Castle Sidewinder. This one is a 5700 kV. That's going to replace the brush system. Sometimes they are a pain to remove. Now I'm just going to unplug this motor. Move the wire out of our way. Grab a flat screwdriver. Now this guy is just two-way tape. If we put a screwdriver underneath, we'll be able to pull the two-way tape that's right here. Now this guy we're going to put aside. Next step, let's remove this motor. Grab our screwdriver. This one is the two Philip that holds it. Now I'm not going to remove the pinion because I may not need to. It might go to the hole of the motor mount. On your vehicle, you might need to if it doesn't pass. Like mine passed. A Fireball 15 from HPI, the stock motor that came in this vehicle. Now we're going to take our motor here, remove the wrapping that holds the wire. We're going to grab our motor and insert it. Now I just need to confirm to find the holes where it goes. And install it. Now on the vehicle that you'll have when you're going to put the motor in you'll need to check the fitment to make sure that it clears everything. Now on this guy here I need to bring the wires on the side of the vehicle to be able to clear these parts here of aluminum. Uh, if not, the wires will rub on it. 
and I still need some space to be able to adjust the motor. On certain vehicles, you might have fitment issues. Now on this one here, it is giving me a little bit of a of a pain, but take my time and we figure it out. Align my holes. There we go. So you guys you can't see this. Sorry about that. But once my my two holes are aligned. We're going to put this one of the screws back in. Grab the other one. Now, I don't know if you notice, I did not put any pinion on the motor. Simple reason, because the pinion that I need to put on is bigger than that, the hole that, that's on it right now. That I have my pinion here. Uh, the pinion for this vehicle is a 30 because of the ratio of the vehicle itself, the internal ratio, and the uh, physical motor. Now we'll find our flat spot. You'll see on the motor itself there is a flat spot. And you want your set screw to sit on the flat spot. Make sure this is unscrewed. And make sure it's centered in your gear. Now you don't need to worry about your meshing for the moment. We'll do that after. Now what we we'll need to do is grab our speed control, clean the plastic where it goes, because we'll put two-way tape on this guy right here. Now, before I turn around and basically put it right here, what I want to do is run this wire. That way, I don't have the speed control itself in my way. Gives me more room for me to be able to put my fingers in between the chassis. Now, once that's run right there, this is where I'll remove this. And this tape, it's great tape, but a pain to remove the plastic. And there we go. Now I want to install it that it won't interfere with the battery here and it won't interfere with the belt. Right now, put it in, it's touching the belt. 
because this vehicle is belt driven. Now we should clear the connector here. Now time to connect these guys here. Normally what I do is the middle, I always go middle. Then I put these guys at both end, one of the each end. I'll tidy, tidy that up after. And I do put a little bit of two-way tape of this guy and we'll find a spot on the chassis that does not affect anything. That way it's easy to turn on. Then grab our connector here. And run it back in the box. Move the other one out of the way. Now the other thing you could do if you do have a box like this, you could unscrew the box out of the way. I'm just trying to be stubborn here. That's not want to work. We're going to remove the box. There we go. Grab a wire. Run it through and put the box back. Now, like I said earlier, if you don't have a receiver box out on your vehicle, this is a step you don't need. But on this sprint here, this version of the sprint, they have a receiver box. Because I have uh, a sprint one, the first generation, and they don't have a receiver box at all. This is a version two, and it has one. Plug this back in your throttle port. Now we can close this box up, making sure our seal is seated. Grabbing our receiver door or receiver box door should I say and making sure I'm not squeezing any wires while closing the door Now what I have left to do is install the Deans on this. If you guys need to install a connector on yours, I do have videos installing how multiple other connectors. And we're going to tidy this up, attach this to here, and you're physically done. Just don't forget if you to do your meshing, I do have a video on that. We're going to take a couple of seconds here. Loosen these guys up. No, you don't want them too tight. And you don't want them too loose. That looks good. You're gonna hold the motor because sometimes when you tighten the screws, it will move your motor. A 
do is be careful. Tighten that up. Verify your meshing. Have a little bit of movement between both of them. Not sure if you guys can see this. I'm holding the pinion and I still can move the, the spur. I'm doing kind of a rocking between both. And there you go, guys. If you have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Uh, hit that like button if you did like this video. It really helps, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.